A core of mud pulled from the bottom of a lake is a barometer of climate change. We're going down into the lake muds and back through time. So we'll set University of Nebraska Lincoln geoscientist Sherry Fritz takes core samples from lakes all over the world to reconstruct the environment over time. And in this very unimpressive bit of mud, we actually have a history of the lake itself, as I said, going from modern times back into the past. Back in the lab, Fritz analyzes the composition of the layers of mud in each core. This may actually be an ash, so some volcanic ashes are deposited. Lake core research helped Fritz reconstruct the environment of Yellowstone Lake back to its formation 14,000 years ago. So pollen's produced by trees, by shrubs, by grasses. It's blown into the lake or washed into the lake. And as that changes through time, the re record of that changing vegetation is recorded in the lake sediments. As the lake environment changed, so did a type of diatom or one-celled algae. The record of fossil diatoms trapped in the mud shows a gradual evolution of the diatom within the first 4,000 years of the lake's existence. Climate change may have spurred the emergence of the new diatom species. The landscape went from the cold, wet landscape following glacial periods into the warmer, drier period that something about that climatic change favored the evolutionary event. Lake core research helps us understand how current environmental factors may impact the future. So it provides us with perspective on what's natural and what's, what's usual, and from that we can sort of understand what the human overprint is on that um, variability. UNL digs deep into lake sediment to shed light on climate change.